Maka's Guides. <laughs> hey guys, Mac here. Continuing on with Wolfenstein, The Old Blood. This is all collectibles in Chapter 1, Prison. There are a total of 10 collectibles, starting off with a letter from the very beginning of the chapter. As soon as we get up, we're going to face towards the objective. And just crouch and you'll see a small hole in the wall at the very bottom of the uh, circular area. If you look inside and reach in, it'll trigger this small kind of cinematic where you actually get bitten by a rat. Um, and you don't actually take out the note, but for whatever reason, it does count on your screen. So you can make sure you got it and read through it if you're curious. Next up, we'll be going for some gold collectibles. Uh, they are numbered straight off the bat. And you'll come downstairs, you'll see some boxes, you'll see this 5-1 area in front of you. And you will need to use your pipes in order to ascend up the wall. There is a lot of different ascending in different areas, so you'll want to keep that in mind. And as soon as you get to the top of this area, you'll go to the right. And uh, then in these vents, you can turn left to continue the level. But before you do that, you're going to want to turn to the right and uh, just uh, pick up this gold collectible, which kind of uh, hangs out near where you came from. So after we get through a gate, we'll come to the short bridge, and if we walk straight across the bridge, we'll see this little minecart right in front of us. Um, so instead of progressing forward, make sure you go to the corner of this area and pick up your second gold collectible. Next up, we'll take an elevator downwards. We'll take out these super soldiers, I believe they're called. And instead of progressing forward, you'll see this uh, wooden frame in front of us. And what we we'll want to do is use the pipes and uh, come from the side here. And if you climb up the side, you will be able to grab collectible uh, gold collectible number three or the fourth collectible of this mission. You want to walk forward and find it on the window frame, of course, and pick it up. Now the next gold collectible, you'll drop down into the sewers, and there's actually three different entrances into the sewers, so you want to keep that in mind, but we're underneath the area where you first encounter the dogs, and you'll see that I'm staring at A and B right there, and if you drop down A and B, you'll want to go to the C and D side, and uh, at the very back from kind of where you entered, uh, you'll find this gold collectible. Now I'm going to show you the map just so you can kind of reference that. I'm the little green arrow, of course. Um, you'll have to drop down into the sewers, go to the back of the area to find this gold collectible. Moving on a little bit later, we'll come up this uh, wall. Mandatory, we'll have to, it, it's a mandatory part of the mission, sorry. And you'll see there's some dogs in front of me, which I've already taken out. Now I'm in cell blocks uh, E and F. I believe um, so we'll come forward this is kind of the second time you come to an open area with dogs in it if we go straight across from where we came out of you'll see that there's the E bank of cells and once we get into the E bank of cells go to the left and you'll find this gold collectible in order to unlock the next achievement or the next collectible rather no achievement or trophy unlocked yet um, so the next one is the nightmare level it's the seventh collectible of the chapter You'll come to this circular area, then you'll go into cell C4. You'll open up this hatch and fall down the hatch. Now, as you fall down the hatch, just jump off the bed and look at the bed uh, underneath, and you can start the nightmare level. As I said previously, I'm not going to be showing playthroughs of the nightmare level, but for a good strategy, just always, after going through every door, take a, a left or a right-hand turn and always do the same thing. And if you get uh, stuck at a dead end, just go back and do the opposite at the uh, intersection right before. And that should get you to the end, generally, of every level within a few minutes. After every nightmare level, you will unlock a single achievement or trophy. Next up, we're going to have gold collectible number six. This is the eighth collectible of the mission. As we uh, go uh, run away from the big metal dog, we'll climb up this grate and we will fall down into this vent. Now, to continue forward, we would walk forward, but before we do that, make sure you turn around as you land. Go into the cell, and uh, you'll find your gold collectible right there on the ground in the cell. A little bit later on, we'll come into this big open area near the end of the mission. Not that that's a relevant point, uh, but there's two commanders in this area. I've taken out everyone and all of the reinforcements and whatnot. You'll come up these stairs with these big circular turbines, and uh, we'll cross a bridge here in the back. You do have to cross this bridge. You'll see a red light here. Um, as we approach, you'll have to turn to the right-hand side. And uh, you'll notice there's some boxes here. I'll show you where I am on the map, on the green arrow again. And we will have to destroy these boxes in order to find uh, this kind of entrance behind them. And as we enter them, we will be able to find our gold collectible number seven on the ground inside this vent. This is the only way to find it, and it is a little bit hidden behind some boxes. Moving on to the final gold collectible of this level, uh, moving directly from the last collectible, we're going to be walking towards our objective. 
which is on the opposite bridge of where we kind of crossed before. It's a uh, little button that you'll need to interact with in order to put some power on. So I'm gonna be showing you that button right here. You can interact with it and not have to worry about losing the collectible. But before we do that, just in case, if you look across the bridge on the bench in front of you, you will find a piece of gold and you will actually unlock an achievement or trophy if you have collected all eight in this level for finding a total of eight items, eight golden items. If you'd like to, feel free to click on the screen to enjoy chapter two docs. And you can also use the on-screen menu or the annotations down below in order to find out more about this game and the videos I've made for it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.